If we keep together and we keep our bonds tight, there, there was nobody that could beat us. These kids, I mean, I know it was the first time playing in the state championship, but these kids have played in a lot of big games, and I just think that it was a business trip for them. I think the day of the state game, uh, we, we were here early to stretch, getting getting our minds ready. So we stretched in here first, and then we ended up uh, doing a little bit of walkthrough, doing a little bit of clarification on stuff we needed to get done. We, we came back, ate as a team, got all packed up, got on the bus, got ready to go. I only remember like when we pulled up here, and then when we got here, we, uh, they like checked our bags and stuff like that, got all our game stuff ready, and then we loaded on the bus, and when we got there, I mean, there's a lot of like stuff going through my head and just making sure uh, staying calm and just not like overthinking it was like the main thing. Before, I think we just, we knew we had a job to get done. Um, it was pretty quiet and there was music playing, but uh, I think there was a there wasn't really a whole lot of messing around. We were we, we were getting on that bus and we were coming home with the ring. Yeah, everybody was locked in for the most part. There was a lot of people like sleeping and, and just listening to music and just getting locked in for the game. I felt pretty good because these kids wanted it and I felt like from a mental standpoint, they were ready to go. And I can kind of tell just the way they were caring about themselves. It was, a, it was all business. It was all business leading up to game day. I could just tell that they were really focused on the task at hand and um, just wasn't a lot of goofiness going on. They were, they were ready to go. It was great. I mean, seeing all the friends and family out there just supporting and being being ready for the game. I still didn't expect the outcome that we had, like with the with the fan base that we had. So it, it was super nice. Doing the same game game day routine, especially like going out to pregame. Um, I get out. We go out early. We go snap. You know, it's 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 all right to feel the emotion and feel the atmosphere when you're there. Um, but also, you gotta you gotta know when it's game time. You gotta hook up and get past that. So I think warmups is pretty cool, especially coming out and stretching. My heart was racing a lot. I mean, it was just it was just surreal being able to play in that stadium with all them fans and then. Like, just really get hyped up. I win this, man! Let's go! Oh, you got, I mean, it's it's fun. You know, you got jitters. You know, you work, you work your tail off all week to prepare kids and prepare your team, and so it's kind of kind of fun. Um, it's kind of one of the only times really on game day where you know, we talk about the work's already done, the hay's already in the barn. Um, so you kind of just mentally go over things and um, kind of relax a little bit. Pass off for each other. Take care of the football. You understand? And communicate. Communicate everything. You good with that? Sir. You guys got the opportunity to play here now. Let's play. Hey, look. Let's go. I got to go and get it. I got to go. Three, 
18 weeks together, right? 18 weeks, we started 120 degrees, right? Everybody together, blood, sweat, and tears, it takes it all, right? We wrote a damn near perfect story, going to California, going down, staying together. We came back, right? Had a hard ass season. We ran the gauntlet, man. I want y'all to think about this right now before you go on the field. What are you going to do for the people next to you? What are you going to do for the people behind you? It could be a once in a lifetime opportunity. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do for everybody? Right? We didn't get picked to win this today. Hey, prove them wrong. Think about that. Think about your boys, that's all I got to say. Go, bring it up, lock up. Find a spot, I don't care. Facing me, take a knee. Fit in somewhere. Everybody take a deep breath. Right? I know we're juiced up. Let's make sure the sideline is juiced up more than it was last oh, week. Yeah. That's fun. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. 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 All you guys dressed out, let's make sure. Oh, you yeah. good with that? Yeah. Hey, here's the deal, right? Here's the deal. We're this newcomer, new kid on the block, right? And they think, oh, it's fresh meat. In order to have fresh meat, you got to kill something. Yeah. Yep. You understand what I'm telling you? Yeah. Yeah. You got to kill something. So they've got to kill you first, right? In order to get their fresh meat. Yeah. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. We good? You guys earned this right here. Now it's time to finish. You want anything in life, you've got to finish. Finish. Right? And you're not going to play a perfect game. I'm telling you that right now. You're not going to play a perfect game. You're going to make mistakes. But don't compound it. You get what I'm saying? You flush it, you move on, be positive with each other. That's what's going to win this game. There's going to be 160, 170 plays. Right? They're a great team. You're not going to win everyone individually. But just keep fighting. Keep getting after it. Let's play a physical brand of football. Hey guys, my hey guys, my name is Jay Sanderson. This is Jeff Gentry, your umpire. We'll be with you tonight all night. Uh, congratulations, uh, congratulations on getting here and welcome to Sun Devil Stadium. Tim Nisbet will flip, we'll flip the coin for us. We've got an AIA coin. The top of the AIA is Tim. You are the visiting captain. What do you call him? Heads. Heads and tails. And tails. tails. He called tails. It is a it head. Is a head. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we want to defer. Oh, we want to kick that one. Okay, hold on. Bash has won the toss and we'll defer. Yeah. You guys go ahead. Line up with the umpire over there. So I already know what you mean. So I already say it. Fellas, hey, have fun tonight. 
I'll tell you the best the best feeling of the entire night is when we ran out and there were, our sideline was just packed. Um, that's how state games should be. It's not how they usually are, but it was it was awesome to see. I feel like that's, having like a big crowd is kind of demoralizing for the other team. And especially being here at Bash, we don't often have like huge crowds, so that was pretty nice. But it was, it was awesome to see the lower level of ASU Stadium just packed. championship fight is all about, right? It's taking a punch and then punching back. That's what we have to do, right? We gotta be just the last one standing. That's all it is. We gotta be the last one standing. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay, so listen, here's a couple little things. All right, here's a couple little things. The first one, if we have even called, just even base, even base hawk, whatever, right? We're not like blitzing and we're not doing whatever, okay? If they come out and even, all right, y'all bring it up. Hey. See anything? Anything we need to be doing? No. Just keep going. 
Hey. Hey. Guys, we got 24 more minutes. There are a lot of things that come at 24 minutes. At 24 minutes, you will never play with this group of guys again. At 24 minutes, you can either win yourself a ring or watch the ring walk away. At 24 more minutes, you can celebrate or you can hang your head on the way out. This, right here, together, that's all it takes. 24 more minutes of togetherness. After 18 weeks, 24 more minutes is what it's going to come down to. That's all it's going to take, y'all. 24, baby. Let's go. Hey, hey. Let's go. Get that.
on that third down when the ball when the ball hit the ground on that play. And we knew we had to make one more stop, one more back to the wall stop. Um, I was like, man, our defense got this. Um, you know, I, I remember just like standing on the bench watching it all happen because I couldn't see over everybody. Because everybody was all bunched up in the corner. So I got up on the bench and I was like, man, we got this. Our defense is, we, our defense is gonna do what they do. So I think we were just like, after that, after the ball hit the ground and it was fourth down, I was like, we got this.
coach has been in Bachelor a while to bring this program to a state title like this. Just, what was the feeling like when that clock hit you? Oh, it was just, it was fantastic, you know. As, as coaches, we actually wanted it more for these kids than, than for ourselves. I mean, we try to have certain leadership on our staff. Hey, these kids work the tail off. We got fantastic kids, great character. They, they just sacrificed a ton, and we wanted to send these guys out champs. Ramon, how does it feel to be champs and knock off some more? It feels great. I mean, this is the goal all season for us to come out and just show what we can do. We just doubted every game. Every big game that did not have us winning the whole week. So, I mean, for us to come out and win this game means so much. Guys, real quick, give it up for that defense and stop at the oh, end. Yeah. Yeah. Coach, for that defense to make the play of the game, it's been so dominant all year. How'd you get it done? Well, I didn't get anything done. They got it done on the field. I mean, they, they just execute the game plan. We got, you know, obviously that secondary has, has got a lot of experience. Um, you stick another guy like Cole Martin back there that makes it even better in, in terms of safety. You know, being a leader, and, and you got Prasis, you got, you know, Jamison Stamps stepped up, and, and obviously Miles did, and you bring in DJ Jamin and JV and Salaya, and I don't know if I'm missing anybody. I'm sorry <laughs> if I am, but they all did a great job, and the linebackers did too, and the D-line as well. Coach, congratulations. Bassett, congratulations. Open Division yes, State Champs. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome oh, yeah. to the Bachelor Bears. Real quick. We're the Bachelor Bears. Bears. You're welcome watching Friday Night, Night Fever. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We're the Bachelor Bears and welcome to Friday Night Fever. Yeah. <laughs>it was so cool to know that we were still getting to play football that late in the year that we had this amazing opportunity i mean bash high school's never been to a state championship let alone win one so it was a big deal for people that had graduated from here people that had really put a lot of blood sweat and tears into the program for even 10 years before we came was it more than a game like i just think it cemented what these kids always thought they always thought that we had a championship team and it just kind of cemented their legacy here at basha they started tradition and it's now every team, you know, since the, to, to continue, you know, a championship type tradition. I think it just was, um, you know, it was just a great feeling for them to, to know that they proved everybody wrong. And, you know, obviously the seniors are left, you know, with the, with the state championship and, you know, that's something you can never take away. So it was an indoor-outdoor tunnel. We'd come in, um, we were able to see the sky, and then you go through the tunnel and you couldn't see it anymore. And everything was echoing back, you know. It was, it was dead silent, you could have heard a pin drop, and uh, the band starts playing. And it was just like, well, I got like, I got goosebumps that day. I was like, at, at that moment, I was probably the most excited for the game. Um, and then I was, it was awesome to just run out. Hear, hear the stadium when it's that loud and there are that many people you can feel it. Uh, we was lit, I mean, especially because that was like, we was in a little like first drive slump for like the second half of the year. So coming out and scoring on that first drive, it felt like the game was ours. Getting into coaching um, and, and coaching as a profession, there's a lot of rewards to coaching, not just winning state. Like if that's the only thing that um, you feel rewarding with and you're not, you know, you're not going to experience a ton, right? Like, because state championships just don't happen every single year, you know. And so, um, I, is it one of my one of my better memories? Sure. There's a lot of other things too that are as well. You know, I like to, to watch our kids succeed. I like to see them, um, you know, go on and accomplish their goals. I mean, that's you know, that's why I'm in high school education. You know, mentoring kids and and um, seeing them move on and mature and become young men and and whatnot. Hey, hold on, hold on. Money talk. Hold on. Hello, Pete. You said pull back up for another one. We're on the way. We're on the way. Ruby's gun for you now. Are we preparing for that? Uh, so we talk about having targets on our back. We talk about being hunted and all that other stuff. You know, all the uh, other cliches that coaches use, but we're our focus this off season is, is um, HTF hunt them first. So like, okay, we, we have a target on our back. We're being hunted, but if we're hunting you first, it doesn't matter.
yoking up is like the term that you use when you're when you're putting together two oxen to pull. Um, one oxen alone can pull 5,000 pounds, um, but two oxen together pulling at this, the the same speed and the same uh, with the same amount of force can pull up to like I think 20 or 25,000 pounds. So really the message, message of yoke up, we got to do this together, 48 minutes, let's get to it. I think that was the message. And if we keep together and we keep our bonds tight, there, there was nobody that could beat us. Oh, absolutely. I, uh, before, before I leave for team meal, every, every week I eat uh, pancakes with strawberry syrup. Um, it's a, me and my mom have been doing that since it's probably eight years old, um, playing youth ball. And that was before like I was an offensive lineman, so I just yeah, I always played well on uh, pancakes and strawberry syrup. I'm no, because I'm too young to retire. I, I, you know, yeah, I'm 43 years old, so I've, I've got I've got um, many many years till retirement, and I like what I'm doing. So. I, I mean, I wouldn't be good in retirement to begin with, so I like to work and I like to grind and I like to stay busy and that's not retirement. Coach Kelly is one of the greatest men on our campus. Um, he's, he's a really awesome coach. Um, he's a really awesome father figure and uh, I think doing that for him, we've been, we've been through the ride, we've been through the four and seven ride my freshman year, you know. Um, talking and, and, and finding ways. I mean, it's not uncommon that on a Tuesday night in the spring we would call and talk about football and, and, and figure out what we're going to do and how we're going to get our guys motivated. And then the offensive line sets the tone. Um, I think that, I, I don't know, it was just an absolute awesome roller coaster to go through with him. Um, and, you know, I know he's proud of me and we're all so grateful for him. <laughs> do I think we can do it again next year? Yeah, I do. Of course.